Hey guys, my name's Josh. Uh, I'm starting this channel to kind of share my life, the goods, the bads, uh, trials and triumphs, if you will. Um, share my goals and my journey to get there. This uh, this hurricane that come through here recently, Helen, Helen. However you want to say it. I don't know how they want to say it. Um, and seeing my... Uh, well, people I look up to on this platform. Going out and being able to do what they want to do to help people. Because they have the capability to do so. Uh, namely, people like Mike Patey with his search and rescue aircraft that he's built. Um, he may be helping with the hurricane right now, I'm not sure, but he helps all the time out in his area with search and rescue of lost hikers and stuff like that. He gets to enjoy flying around and helping people at the same time, sending supplies out where it's needed, uh, helping his community when they had some big floods a few years ago. Uh, Garrett Mitchell, y'all might know him as Cletus McFarland. He's got his new helicopter. He's flying around. He's up in the mountains right now, flying supplies to people. I want to get there. That's my goal in life. To be able to stop the daily grind and go and help where it's needed when it's needed. Even if our government's a little slow on the uptake. Um, to be able to hop out of bed and be like, I want to go help. And have nothing holding me back from doing it. I'm currently nowhere near being able to do that. But that's my goal in life. That's where I want to be with me and my family. I want to be able to provide for my family, enjoy life, make a wonderful life for my children and my wife to where we can all just live an easier life than we do currently and many other people do currently. Um, I'm hoping that by sharing my journey and my goals and aspirations and such that maybe it'll get, help some other people out. Maybe it'll help get some drive into them. They need it. Um, I definitely need drive. There's a lot of times that I want to do something productive around the house, work on a truck, do something extra, and sometimes I just don't have the motivation to do it so I'm hoping that this platform will uh, help me do that as well maybe it'll help some other people that might be struggling with the same issues do the same but for now I'm going to start small motivate myself a little bit and get some stuff done um, currently I am 34 years old. I am a aircraft maintenance technician holding a senior technician position within my company. Um, I've been there for almost three years at this point. It's been the best job I've ever had. It's in my dream field of aerospace. It's taken me 31 years <laughs> to get there. So I want to try and build on that and develop that further as I can. Um, let's see. Battery died. Let's try again. Um, this channel is going to be a lot about, like I said, kind of my life, my semi-daily. I probably won't do daily. That's going to be boring. But semi-daily, as interesting things happen, I do certain things and stuff to get myself motivated and get to my goals. Um, it's going to involve a lot of Automotive work, fixing my vehicles, upgrading my vehicles, tinkering with them. Um, there'll be some life betterment. Basically, cleaning up the clutter in my life, literally and metaphorically. Um, I have ADHD, so I have a lot of hobbies. A lot of hobbies at the same time. Fortunately, unfortunately, 
that leads to a lot of clutter. I'm going to be working on clearing that up and cutting down on that and narrowing my hobbies down to a few at a time. Um, oh, aerospace. So I've been there for three, almost three years. I run a small side business doing mobile auto detailing. Um, bikes, cars, trucks, RVs, campers. I might do one or two details a month. It's just a little small side gig that I got into because I enjoyed cleaning. And it brings a little bit of extra money in. Not a lot, but it brings a little bit in. Um, I donate plasma twice a week. That kind of gives me some quiet time to myself. And uh, just a tiny bit of extra income to the house. Uses a lot of a good bit of gas money to go back and forth, especially in these trucks. But it's something that uh, I do for spurts at a time, so I can get things caught up, or uh, well, basically just to get things caught up financially. Um. I'll be cleaning stuff up. I lose my train of thought. Let me get back on it. Um, last year, December of last year, I was able to purchase, finance, my dream truck. A first gen Ford Raptor. Went and picked it up in Ohio. Uh, my best buddy Norbert gave me a ride up there with him and his son. Road tripped up there overnight. Picked it up the next morning and road trip back home. Pretty much without stopping except to eat and get gas. Um, it's a little, got a few rough spots living up north its whole life. It's got some rough spots and stuff, but that'll get taken care of in the future. Um, hopefully before too long. I've done some custom touches to it since then, added some lights. Um, it's all small stuff, cheap stuff really. Added some lights. Working on trying to tint the windows myself right now. Yes. Okay. I'm not a professional by any means. Um, changed out some of the factory lighting and stuff for it mirrored uh, front turn signals and stuff like that. Swapped my factory rear bumper for a guy up in North Charlotte, I think it was, for his aftermarket bumper. Trying to line up an aftermarket front bumper swap with for my OEM one with another guy that's going to be in my area in a few weeks. Added a winch to it. Um, but two weeks ago, I guess at this point, the rear drive shaft lost the universal joint and fell out coming down the highway on my way to work in the morning. And when it did that, it cracked the transmission housing clean in two. Luckily, a few, about a month ago or so, we replaced the transmission in Norbert's Raptor. Um, I've got his transmission sitting here. I was going to rebuild it myself and swap into mine when I had time. And that's gotten pushed to the front. Um, we've been selling stuff from a Mazda Speed 6 that I'm parting out and trying to get rid of completely to build up the money to pay for the transmission rebuild. Uh, I was quoted about $1,500 to get it rebuilt through one of my stepdad's buddies. Um, had about half of that built up and then we had our refrigerator go out. So there went that money. Um, by the time all was said and done between going and getting the fridge, used fridge, um, feeding my coworkers that helped me out with picking it up and getting the old one out of the house and getting the new one in and getting the new one put back together because we had to disassemble it almost completely to get it in the door. 
Um, there went most of the transmission money I had saved up. So I'm kind of back to square one of trying to get some money saved up to rebuild that transmission. Uh, in the meantime, my stepdad's letting me drive his trash truck, work truck, back and forth to work and daycare and stuff with my son. Um, oh, I have been married for six years. My wife's going to kill me if I'm wrong. I think it's six years. And I have a nine-year-old daughter and a three-year-old son. Um, he loves my truck. My daughter seems to love my truck. Uh, it's hard to tell with her. She kind of thinks she's a teenager right now, but... Anyway, um, current projects involve getting the rest of the transmission out from the Raptor. I've already got the transfer case and drive shaft out. I've got to get the Y pipe out for the exhaust and then drop the transmission. Um, it also has what seems to be a cracked header on the driver's side, so I'm going to look at it and see if that's something I can fix while everything's out. It's got a uh, very oily based coating on the bottom of it from Ohio that just gets on everything you touch. Um, I'm gonna work on cleaning that off while i am got everything out. Uh, pour 15, rush treatment, the bottom of the Raptor while I've got everything out and can get everything easier. And I've got a issue with the fuel gauge where it most of the time does not show my fuel level. So I'm probably gonna drop the fuel tank and either replace just the sending unit or the entire fuel pump assembly at the same time as everything's out because it's going to be easier to get to everything while it's out. That's the current list of stuff as well as decluttering. Decluttering is a big thing. If I can get rid of a lot of stuff, it feel like be a lot less stress. But we'll see. Um, I'll have more fun videos. This one I know is kind of serious and kind of I don't say depressing down I don't know where to start with these so if you want to stick along for the ride hit the subscribe button we'll see what happens thanks talk to y'all next time